As a special Christmas gift to you, I decided to start a series on PHP so we can do some uh, server-side uh, scripts. So let's start off. We're going to need to install three things. We're going to need a web server, which so we'll use Apache. It's the most commonly used. And we got to install PHP so that we can run our PHP script. And then uh, we also want some uh, MySQL stuff just for further on down the line when we get into database stuff. So the simplest way to install all this would be to use uh, sudo aptitude install uh, php my admin. And when we go to run that, you can see it's going to install Apache and all the Apache stuff. And it's going to install MySQL stuff. And it's going to install your PHP stuff. So go ahead and hit yes to continue. And it will start downloading all those packages. And while that's downloading, I'm going to explain basically what PHP is. When it comes to web programming, okay, let me go to this before I get into that. It's asking me what uh, what web server I'm going to use. I'm going to use Apache too, so I'm going to mark that. I hit tab and then OK. And uh, so this is installing pretty fast here. Uh, basically, there's client side and server side scripts. Uh, client side actually are generated are scripts like JavaScript, which the browser reads the script and the browser generates the data. Where server side is generated on the uh, server side and just displayed out on the uh, browser side. So basically, server side stuff is great for security because the end user can can't see what you're doing, what you're developing there. Uh, where with JavaScript they can just look at the code on the page and see how things are done, which is great, you know, to learn how to do stuff, but you know, sometimes you need some security on stuff. So here we're it's you know ask us some questions. We'll just go ahead and hit OK. I'll hit yes. Here it's going to ask for uh, your password. So you can type in your password, but I have never had that actually go through. It always brings me back to go over and again. So I always just, at this point, hit ignore and we'll set a password once we get into. That was for the um, uh, SQL portion of it, which we're going to get into later tutorials. So uh, go ahead and just ignore that at that point when it's asking for a password. And that's it. Uh, you know, we got all that installed. On most distributions, if you cd to var www, that is where all your web files are stored. And you can see you have a default uh, index HTML and if you were to go to your local host in your browser and it will display the contents of that which is this right here which we will get into in the next tutorial. Hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorials. I'm uploading them all today. Well not all of them but like four or five of them. So Merry Christmas!